Okay, chapter, oops, excuse me about that. Chapter 5.2 is fractions. And decimals. Fractions and decimals. Okay, yesterday we talked a little bit about rational numbers. And I, I wrote it this way, you can write it any way you want to. But rational numbers. And some of the rational numbers are terminating decimals and repeating decimals. Terminating and repeating decimals. I just abbreviated decimals. These are both what they call rational numbers. Let's write some examples of terminating and repeating. Now we'll do some easy ones that you could probably do in your head, but let's just demonstrate how to, how to find the answer. So we want to change this fraction into a decimal. So let's see, what I have to do is take the top number and put it in the box. So that would be a 1. A 1 goes in the box and the 4 is on the outside. Take the decimal, which is right there, bring it straight up. Okay, 4 does not go in a 1. 4 at a 0. 4 goes in a 10 twice. That's 8. I subtract it. That gives me 2 left over. I add a 0. Bring it down. 4 goes in a 20 5 times. So the answer is 0.25. Just one more example like this. We have two thirds. We're changing from a fraction to a decimal. Top number always goes in the box. And the decimal is just right there, so you bring it straight up. So let's see. Um, three does not go into two. Add a zero. Three goes into 20. 3 times 6 is 18. That leaves me with 2. Add a 0, bring it down. Hey, it's 20 again. 3 goes into 20, again, 6 times, right? That's 18. And again, you have a 2 left over. So it looks like it just keeps repeating itself. 0.66. And you know what, I'm going to ask that you just, whenever you're dividing, just go twice, please. Don't keep going over and over again. Just go twice. And that's because we get into percent, you just need to go twice. Okay, and so what is our answer? Our answer is 0.6, you could say 66, or you could say just 6. Well, here, I'll do that. Repeating. Or you could just say 0.6 repeating. It's the same thing. Okay, so we just did fraction to decimal, we did decimal to fraction, and now what we're going to do is compare. Compare fractions and decimals together. So we're going to compare a decimal with a fraction to see which one is less or greater. So what I'd like you to do is, um, we'll do it twice, we'll do it two different ways. And you choose which way you'd like to do it. But let's just do it two different ways. That way you have it in your notes, so you can choose whichever way you'd like, method. Okay, the first method is I'm going to change this decimal into a fraction. Okay, so I can do that. 0.2 is the same thing as 2 tenths. Okay, it's the same thing as 2 tenths, which is the same thing as 1 fifth. Okay, so now look, this is one-fifth, and this is four-fifths. So I'm comparing it. So this is, point two is the same thing as one-fifth. So one-fifth is less than. It's less than four-fifths. So point two is less than four-fifths. 
Okay, now the next one, what we're going to do, instead of changing, is instead of moving around the decimal, let's change this fraction into a decimal. So four-fifths. To change that into a decimal, remember, top number goes in the box. Bring the decimal straight up. Like that. And let's see, five does not go into four. Five, I added zero. Five goes into 48 times. And with none left over. So we see that it's 0 0.8. So this side is 0 0.2, and this side is 0 0.8. So obviously 0 0.2 is smaller than 0 0.8. Okay. So you can choose whichever way you want, like. If you want to change a decimal to a fraction and compare that way, or change a fraction to a decimal and compare that way. It's your choice.